Hey guys, Jeff the Maintenance Man. Yes, around July I start getting my stuff ready for Christmas. Last year was a disaster. Um, couldn't, ha didn't have wire. Gonna try to get some wire, but I was like, good lord, I got so busy. Um, and they're doing it again to me this year, but at least they, they're uh, replacing one of our elevators. At least they're doing it in July and not on Decem in December or whatever, like the last one was. So... Um, oops, hitting the tripod. Y'all are actually on a tripod this time. So, here's my extension cables. I have pigtails. Oh, excuse me. I just got off work, so I figured I'd make this video, because once I get off work, I come here, get, get a bite to eat, and just start messing with this stuff. So, these are waterproof pigtails. I got males and females, and we can make babies. These right here are the pixels. This is 50 pixels, 50 pixels. So there's 100 lights right there. And when this, when this is done, I should show you. You just wrap it, and it makes a tree. I got one right here, off camera. And there you have it. So you have your tree. Looks like that. So, um, that's what it looks like. This is a 180 degree tree because nobody's going to be walking behind it. So there's no point in putting pixels in the back. So what I've done is I've taken a couple pixels that are extra because this doesn't take entirely 100. And just shoved them in the back and just use them in the back. Because nobody's going to see those except for me. And then I'll know that the tree is working from the back end of it. Well, that's what it looks like. And maybe a little later I'll plug it up and we'll run we'll run some effects on it or whatever. See if I can get some effects on it. But yep, that's what we're going for. This came from holidaycoral.com. So I'll put a link in the description of that website in the bottom. Uh, these are my snowflakes. These I had last year but never used them. I now have the pigtails on them. So they're just plug and play now, baby. This has 100 pixels as well on it. And you just solder the pigtail onto it. And then out she goes. You can hang this over a window or a door or something and plug it up. What does it plug up to? Well, that's the next thing, if you don't know. Um, it plugs into my controller here, which is the Sans device. E682. I made a video on how to unbrick this on my channel in the Christmas light playlist. Um, unbricking is kind of fun because you screwed up all the electronics and then you can fix it again with a programmer, which was pretty cool. So once I get everything figured out, I'm full of a mess right now. <laughs> I'll put this tree together probably tonight and then I'm waiting on two four more bundles of lights because I got two more trees so that's another great hundred dollars coming right there so they're not cheap um, this is 50 bucks right here these two strands they're about 20 ish 23 ish again everything you see here holiday coro the jumpers the the lights everything these are his new lights there is no soldering if you buy his connectors they're already pre-molded and pre-made they used to just come the the lights used to just come like snipped off and if you're asking how do you, well if it's all black how do you know what's data ground and whatever well it's written right on the wire positive it says data wire negative wire and of course you got to look and know which is output and usually the input is the one with the uh the ring on it Usually. Let's see. No, it isn't. It's the one without the ring. I'm sorry. One without the ring is the input. There you go. Holidaycoro.com So there you go. So I'll probably put, put together the tree. And uh, maybe just um, show you how it goes together here real quick. You know what? Hold on just a second, guys. Okay. 
Alright, I just had to change my shirt because it was not doing too good. So, I want the matte side. You got a shiny side. I want the matte side to be on the... I just think it looks nicer. Tell you the truth. Right. Usually you would take a zip tie and zip tie that, but if you can start getting this bar through here, I don't even know if y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me show up a little bit. Let's start this before. Yeah, it would be better if I laid this down, probably, but I'm a little out of options for that right now. So, in one, out the other, in one, out the other. Then, usually, what I'll do is I'll come back with the zip ties and I'll put it. I really need to get more space around here. I'm in a tiny little. Alright, what the fuck? Did I miss it? Yes, I did. There we go. And this one. Come on. I'm trying to get it in there. This is the. Probably the hardest part about this. Right here. A little easier if you put those zip ties on it, I guess, first. But. I'm not going to use zip ties because I want just quick and easy access to store these flat somewhat. So. so the bar goes through there like that. And, uh, see, just get a zip tie and put it on the top just to hold everything evenly spaced as much as you can. And then what I'm going to use is where the pixels are right here. It's something like 70 something pixels. So it's really close to. Um, really close to being the the pixels um, number for 100, you know. It's a little over 70 because there's not that many pixels left. But, yep, then I just, it, so if you wanted to, you could lay this down flat. Go ahead and pop in the pixels and then do that. But I, I find it no problem just to reach in here and you know reach down inside there and just pop them in I start from the bottom I need to figure out where the start is on uh, this tree and then I'll match it and just all you do is pop pop the little pixels in you know this is backwards just to demonstrate but they uh they pop in plug and play baby they stay in there pretty good too so I'll do that and then uh, um, so here's a little bit of information if y'all want to know what the stuff is on that hopefully y'all can see that so pretty cool I like it maybe we'll have a show this year a real one and uh, I'll probably do those later so, yeah, there's no point in, I was just going to wait till the, I got, I already have two more of these. And then, I'm waiting on four more sections of pixel. So, and then I think I'll be good. The two, the two, uh, can, uh, candy cane, um, snowflakes, um, they're going to be hung over, over my window. And then one over my other window. And, uh, so, hopefully we'll have a show this time. Hopefully I won't be lazy and not sequence all this stuff. Putting it together is now easier than ever. It does cost money, though, guys. Um, if you're kind of interested in this kind of stuff and like that, congratulations if not. Sorry, but um, I don't want. I don't think y'all want to see me sitting here and popping in pixels for the next thirty minutes. Just pop, pop, pop. But uh, I try to be as detailed as I can. So ask questions in the comments about you know what you need to do. Blah 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 blah. If you have any questions, I try to make other videos to answer those questions for you. Until then, I know it's a little early to say this, but. We're getting ready for Christmas, so Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year's, right? 
but better be prepared than sorry. I want to be able to go out, this is my goal, go out into my yard and then uh, plump this down in the yard, get it situated, run those power cords to the unit, to the controller, then everything is set up software, uh, in the software. How the lights go up, down, I uh, I have to set these up to zigzag every 14 pixels. There's 14 holes. Zigzag and then tell it that it's six strands down. So it acts, even though it's one continuous strand, it's going to act as six individual strands. And then start, the starting point will go up like this and it'll start this one and start and then it'll zigzag. Because that's how I'm going to put them in. I'm going to up, down, up. So then the software, when you want to have an effect that goes up like this, up the tree, it will know when to start those pixels. So, Alright guys, um, if you want to hang in there for just a little bit, I'll uh, fire up. It'll be just a second for you, but I'll set it up real quick. Put my controller up here, and we'll run a, we'll run a, couple, uh, run a couple effects, I guess. Um, Let's see what we can do here. And I probably need this light to go out too. So, Well, maybe not. I don't know how the, you know, the brightness of these lights is going to be. But I'll set this one right here like it's going to be in my yard. There is a pixel out right here because I'm going to push it all the way in. There we go. Shouldn't make a difference as long as the little pixels pushed out there. There we go. So yeah, that's about how it's going to be in my yard. So let me hook it up real quick and we'll run some effects and stuff for you. Okay guys, so here's a sneak peek of what this thing looks like when it's getting and going. Let's do this. Here's just a little example, some random effects. I put in some real timing effects and stuff like that, morph effects and stuff, so... Here we go. It's so beautiful. Wait for it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is beauty in the finest form. Okay guys, so here's a sneak peek. You saw the tree doing its thing. Told you I have four trees. I got two st uh, snowflakes, which are just kind of drawn out in here. And then I have, of course, my mega tree, which has uh, 600 something lights on it. So each, uh, each snowflake has 100 and each tree has 100 lights, so. There's four or five, six hundred more lights. I can make a whole nother mega tree out of just the lights off of these elements. And I have two more arches that have 50 each, but I don't know if I'm going to put those into the display this year. Uh, just because I live in a small house and small yard and I'm just too cluttered and you won't be able to see anything. So, But here's a preview. Here's a sneak peek. Carol the Bells, we're going to play this for about, I got my effects there, so a little bit into about 50 seconds. So, and you'll be able to see the simulated version here of these lights. Enjoy.
there you go so i haven't put in any effects or anything for the uh, big tree or anything or the snowflakes just yet uh this was just uh as a test sequence as you see up here at the top it says cotb test uh tree test carol of the bells tree test so but uh that's what i'm going for right there something like that and i'll import effects into the um the mega tree and get those uh um snowflakes going and i think we'll have us a nice little nice little show because outside i'll have to tune in to 88.5 so you can hear the uh, the music when you drive up to my house and you'll be able to listen to the music in your car you guys stay safe thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and i'm jeff the maintenance man y'all take it easy